Hi, I'm Sarah Baya and welcome to my science class. It's another fun and interesting lesson today. In this chapter, we will learn about the factors affecting the life cycle of organisms. In today's lesson, we will be describing the effects of the environment in the life cycle of organisms. And at the end of the lesson, you are expected to describe the effects of different environmental conditions in the life cycle of organisms. But before we proceed with our main topic, let us review the different life stages of organisms. We are going to play a game called Let's Grow. Study the given sets of pictures and arrange it in their proper sequence for each of the organisms. So if you're ready, let's get started! Answer them all correctly. Congratulations! To take care of ourselves, we eat, exercise, and make sure we get enough sleep. But that's for our internal environment. The environment that surrounds us, such as air, soil, water, and our ecosystems, is equally important for our health and the health and well-beings of others. Let's protect the environment we live in. A clean environment is essential for healthy living. An ecosystem is made up of all the living and non-living things in an area. Plants, animals, and man make up the living components or biotics in an ecosystem, while non-living things or abiotics include water, sunlight, rock, soil, and air, a swamp, a pond, an ocean, and a forest are examples of an ecosystem. All organisms have needs such as food, water, and air. If the needs of the organism in the ecosystem are not met, they cannot survive, and this will affect the life cycle of an organism. Organisms only survive in an ecosystem when their specific needs are met. So what are the different environmental conditions that organisms need to survive in an ecosystem? All organisms on Earth directly or indirectly rely on each other for sustenance. Sunlight directly affects the survival of all organisms as life on Earth depends on acquiring the right amount of sunlight for energy and nourishment. The sun is the direct source of light and energy for plants. They take energy from the light of the sun carbon dioxide from the air, and water that plants store for energy. Plants are also filled with vitamin D, which is an important nutrient for man and animals as a result of the sunlight they absorb. The energy from the sun is transferred from plants to animals and man when they eat the plants. Man and animals also benefit from the sun's effect on their bodies because sunlight on skin produces vitamin D, which is important in the formation of strong bones. And man and animals also get vitamin D 
by eating plants. Too little sunlight can cause plants' water to evaporate and lead to its death. Man and animals can cause a deficiency in vitamin D which leads to brittle and weak bones. Too much sun can cause the skin to tan or burn. Living organisms need water to survive. All oxygen-dependent organisms need water to aid in respiration process. Some organisms such as fish can only breathe in water. Other organisms require water to break down food molecules or generate energy during the respiration process. Water also helps many organisms regulate metabolism and dissolves compounds going into or out of the body. In plants, water aids in photosynthesis, the process which plants convert sunlight into food. During the first stage of photosynthesis, water splits hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Oxygen is released into the atmosphere, while hydrogen is used in the rest of the chemical reaction to produce energy for the plants. In man and animals, water aids in respiration. Cellular energy is released as a byproduct of this process. Water also helps waste product out from the body. Without a water supply, organisms cannot access oxygen and would die. Air is the third critical resource for all organisms. Air, not only oxygen, but a mixture of other gases such as nitrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide. Air is an important part of several essential cycles that also make life on Earth possible. Organisms need oxygen to survive. It helps them grow, reproduce, and turn food into energy. Man and animals get the oxygen they need by breathing in air. Oxygen gives our cells the ability to break down food in order to get the energy we need to survive. Animals and man release carbon dioxide into the air when they breathe. Plants extract carbon dioxide from the air and use it to produce energy. Without air, our planet will be lifeless. Thus, air is one of the biggest essential factors that is necessary for survival of any living species. Space is another critical basic need. Plants are anchored into the soil in which they grow and thrive. Man and animals need a living space as well as territory in which to search for food and mates. For a plant, a good space must provide the right combination of light, air, water, and soil. For example, cactus plants are adapted to sandy soil dry climates, and bright sunlight. It would not thrive in wet and cool areas with large amount of overcast weather. The amount of space an organism needs to thrive varies widely from species to species. For example, if you place too many fishes in an aquarium, they would engage in violent competition over food and territory. Some fish may die because they did not have enough space. Living organisms need space in order to survive and grow well. Temperature is the measurement of hotness and coldness in an area. Some organisms are specially adapted to live in environments experiencing extremes of heat and cold thus will thrive in such environment. Most organisms grow best in moderate temperatures between 25 to 40 degrees Celsius. Seasonal changes in temperature often influence the growth patterns and productions of organisms. Seasonal temperature variation affects when flowers plant, when animals breed, when seeds germinate, and when animals hibernate.
Organisms need food because it provides energy and nutrients necessary to the body to perform its life functions. Plants make food with the help from sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide in a process called photosynthesis. These nutrients produced by the plants are stored and passed on to other organisms like man and animals. When living things die, things rot into the ground and nutrients end up in the soil and gets dissolved. As a result, plants can absorb them and store it as nutrients such as salt, potassium, minerals, starch, phosphates, and nitric acids. Man and animals eat plants and other animals as their source of food. These organisms break down the food they eat in the process called digestion and absorbs the nutrients from the food they eat to be used by their body in the different life process in order to function and grow healthy. Are you up for some challenge? Our challenge for today is to solve the crossword puzzle about the basic needs of organisms. So if you're ready to taste your wits, let's get started! If you answered them all correctly, congratulations! We have learned today that certain environmental conditions could affect the life stages of organisms. Organisms should meet their needs in their environment in which they live in. Their environment is everything that surrounds the organism and it includes the non-living part like soil, air, and water. So that's it for our lesson today. Don't forget to read more about our lesson in your textbook and module and answer the activities in your worksheets. Once again, I'm your teacher Sir Abaya. Thanks for listening and see you next time. Today, see you next time.